bubble sort part two so we all have our sorting hats on very good sorting hats Harry Potter thing anyway let's go here is uh, what we did in uh, bubble sort <coughs> excuse me part one uh, we set up the uh, program to actually sort something let me go over it uh, I've got two functions uh, B sort which will be the bubble sort the print array which is uh, printing out the array we've already written that one I have predefined array that I'm going to sort now this is not how I expect you to input an array to sort this just prevents us from having to write a routine to read one in we've got the size of it We're using size of we count the number of bytes and divide it by four and we've got our two functions here B sort and print array here is print array that just prints it out now we're going to write the bubble sort bubble sort is uh, the simplest uh, sorting algorithm uh, that uh, you can have and it has a couple of features um, it goes through the list and does exchanges and it keeps doing that until no exchanges are made so here we're going to write it and it's important that you understand how the bubble sort works so we're going to replace this uh, C out statement here we're going to get rid of it and we're going to start writing it. Here's our um, uh, bubble sort. We're going to create something called a swat. It's a boolean and we're going to initialize it to true and this is what's going to tell us if uh, we've made an exchange of items during uh, one run through the list. We initially set it to true to get us into the list. Then we say while uh, swapped. Now since this is a boolean object I don't have to say is it equal to true it def is defined as either true or false to begin with. Let me put in my left and right uh, brackets to encase the entire uh, routine itself. Now then in here uh, I initially uh, turn swapped to false. All right, And I'm going to go through the list. If I go through the list and at no time do I make a swap then swap will be false and it will fall out of the while loop above it. A very very common technique. Okay now here we go for okay int index equals zero we're going to start at the beginning of the list while index is uh, less than okay s minus one. All right, now why s minus one? Well let's look up here let's say index plus plus s is the number of items in the list and since we're comparing an object to the next one right next to it we don't want to go through all the way through the list we want to stop one short because we're going to be looking at that last thing while I'm at index I'm going to be looking at index plus one let me do that comparison all right go in here I'm going to do another left and right bracket let me move that bracket down here okay change some uh, syntax here All right, so in here, what do I want to do? Well, I want to ask a question. If, okay, the number at location index, okay, is greater than the one right next to it, which would be index plus one, well, what do I want to do? Well, I want to, I want to swap the two items, and I'm actually going to create a routine called swap. I'm going to pass it the array and I'm going to pass it the index of the first one I want swapped. And then I'm going to say swapped equal true. All right, here's where I say, okay, I've made a swap. Doesn't matter, matter how many times I set it to true, uh, but it's just that I did. All right, now. I'm missing a routine called swap and I'm going to get this comment from law students. Couldn't I just put the code right here to do it? Yeah you could but then you'd miss the opportunity to actually write another function. So we're going to write that routine. I'm going to go put the prototype up here. Swap and again I'm going to pass in an integer array and I'm going to pass in a constant intent i for index, you know, the thing I want to actually exchange. All right. All right, and put void in front of that. Void, oops, I spelled void wrong. Void, swap, very good. 
Alright. Void swap. Oh, that one already exists. We'll say swaps. Alright, very good. So we'll say swaps. Good. Swaps. Alright. Very good. Swaps. So we're going to write swaps now. Very easy function to write. I'm going to write it without testing anything further here. So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to put it right above the binary sort. Put it in there. Take out the semicolon. Paste it with the left begin. Uh, left and right brackets. And now I'm going to swap two things. The first thing I need to do is I need to declare an integer. We'll call it temp. And I'm going to go ahead and assign that the in array of i. Okay. And then I'm going to give the thing at i the value of n i plus 1. And then I'm going to give n i plus 1 the temp. Okay, there is my swapped routine. Okay, so that's the bubble sort. Now, the Hamming sort, how does this involve? Well, the key here is swaps. Okay, you notice in swaps, we swap something. That means that here in swaps, what we're going to do is we're not just going to ex just exchange the two elements, but right here where I have the cursor, what you're going to do is you're going to start at i, and you're going to go in reverse, and you're going to go back till zero and you're going to do exchanges until you stop doing exchanges. In other words, you're going to take the thing you just moved in its place and you're going to put it in its proper place in the list. So you're going to put the uh, sorting in reverse and this is where you're actually going to put it. That's where I would suggest you put it. Let's put it that way. Okay. So let's uh, save this. Okay, there we saved it. And let's build it. Let's see if we get any errors. Well, it looks pretty good, but we don't know. Let's test it first. Very common in these kinds of routines when you're dealing with arrays is to get some type of memory violation. So let's go ahead and debug it. Let's start without debugging. And we print our array. At, look up there. Our array is in order. 0, 21. Let's check it. 32, 34, 34, 44, 45, 56, 59. Very good all the way to 100 we have a successful sorting routine. Very good. All right. This is an example of using a bubble sort. It's You're going to use part of this in your approach to writing the Hamming sort uh, in assignment number uh, five. Uh, good luck to you. Play this as many times as you need to and I hope this helps you and uh, we'll see you on the next video. Have a good day.